everyone welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more today's topic is window of infectivity as we all know dental caries is caused by bacteria streptococcus mutans and dental caries is a bacterial infectious disease which causing destruction of tooth by acting upon sucrose and producing lactic acid which ultimately leads to cavitation so window of infectivity is nothing but the initial colonization of streptococcus mutans in a child that happens during 19 to 31st months and on a mean value 26 months so this colonization is important because till that period so till around 2 years the colonization is negligibly low because of the protective effect of uh, mother's milk and its antibodies once the baby is getting devoid of this protective effects and the eruption of molars happening there is high chances of bacterial colonization when the baby born there is no bacteria in the baby's mouth the baby getting bacteria from the mother or the first caregiver or primary caregiver so the baby gets bacteria and its initial colonization starts during this period that is exactly we can say during 1931 this is an idealistic condition it can vary so if the window of infectivity is earlier the child has more risk here for to develop and progression of caries so window of infectivity is to be taken care well otherwise there will be lots of caries in future because during that period the molars are erupting and soon after eruption the teeth will be very much prone to dental caries because of the uh, demineralized uh, enamel structure so it has to be taken care well so window of infectivity is of clinical importance and always we should take care of babies oral cavity during this period and the second window of infectivity is seen between 6 to 12 years at this period the patient's or the child mouth is undergoing mixed dentition period there are lots of teeth deciduous and permanent teeth and there is a transient malocclusion phase so the bacteria has lots of favorable conditions to get colonized so colonization is always happening on the plaque so plaque is on the teeth so when the molars erupts so this plaque gets a surface to get attached so the bacteria has a colonization surface so bacteria utilizes a substrate uh, from the plaque and it get internally rearranged and reorganized in hard surface that is teeth so colonization is associated with formation of dental caries so window of infectivity is nothing but the initial colonization of streptococcus mutans in a child's mouth that is happening between 19 months to 31st month if we put this in a graph format birth to 5 years during this period and a mean uh, value we can say that 26 months that is exactly 2 years 2 uh, and 2 uh, two, 2 years and 2 months so during that period the initial colonization happens so colonization will anyway happen so we should always take care of baby's teeth during this period so we can avoid a lot of dental caries so this is a short note uh, been asked from uh, university exam many times what is window of infectivity is nothing but colonization initial colonization of streptococcus mutans in bacteria and these are the factors if high maternal infection is there there is high chances of colonization and can be earlier colonization if the diet is high sucrose content also there is 
earlier chances of colonization earlier it is more riskier and the protective effect of breast milk is giving uh, protection or delaying of this colonization so that's all about winter of infectivity and streptococcus mutants uh, causing dental caries in a child's mouth and second winter of infectivity during 6 to 12 years so i'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more thank you